Hey you guys, Heidi from Boba's Mama here. Thanks for joining me. Today I just wanted to do a all Thanksgiving kind of video chit chat. Just talk to you guys about decor and activities and what Thanksgiving looks like in my home. So if you've been following me for a while, um, you know that I am hosting my in-laws here. Uh, they are coming here from Puerto Rico and if you guys know, Puerto Rico suffered this horrendous hurricane that just kind of pretty much destroyed the island. So. They're gonna be here with us for a while until uh, Puerto Rico and things get better. Um, so busy, but nonetheless great. Um, so it's been a little hard for me to do videos, but I wanted to come over here and just kind of chit chat with you guys and talk all things Thanksgiving, because it really is one of my favorite holidays. And I just like to do certain things with my kiddos, especially in homeschool or in my home or decorate and you know all that good stuff. So here we go. So I thought of, well, I'm writing things down because I don't want to lose my trade of thought. So I thought of talking about a little bit about decor. Um, and I'll show you a picture here for the things that I have uh, purchased already. but very pretty and just kind of cutesy, especially for my kiddos and their table, because I like to do a kid's table. Um, oh, I hear my hamster. But yes, yeah, so I love to have activities for them at their table and, um, and just fun things for the family to do in general. So I wanted to share with you guys what I found in um, Pinterest. So one of the things that I love to do is decorate. I love decorating. It's one of my... I don't know, maybe a dream of mine to be a party decorator. I just love it. I love parties. I love decorating. So anyways, I found these cute little printouts. This is actually for a frame, a picture frame. And this says, give thanks. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. And so in Pinterest, I found a whole set, like a party set of printables. And they're free. So I went nuts, of course. They have cute little turkey, um, like cake pop, um, cupcake toppers. That's what they're called. But you could use it for anything. Um, and they have like um, mini cards and tent cards. But I found these also. These are I am thankful for cards that I can put in the table and then my family can fill out and kind of reflect and do that, share with each other and read each other's cards. And then I also found on a separate um, Pinterest uh, board. I found this cute Thanksgiving mat libs. So I printed it out. And so with mat libs, you pretty much you fill out this sheet first. You add all these um, things here, and then you input them in the story, and then it just makes the story so much more interesting and fun and different. So I have a few of these that I printed out, so that we could put it by the table, and the family can enjoy and do that with my kiddos. During Thanksgiving week, I like to do activities with them and so forth. So one of the things that we like to do is this something I'm thankful for. So some something that smells good, that sounds beautiful, that I watch, that tastes good, that is fun. So I got this cute little, like, it's like a questionnaire or something like that. But I got this one from also Pinterest, I believe. And if you're interested in any of these, I'm going to try to link them down below. But if you don't see them, let me know and I will find it for you. But I've had this for two years already and we always do the same one. So they have so much fun thinking up things like something that is um, my favorite, like my favorite color. I'm thankful for my favorite color. Which one is it? And then that is beautiful to look at. That helps me. So just filling out these cute little um, cards is fun for them. So I have that for my kiddos. And then I also like to do like fun mazes and stuff like that. So I also found this at in Pinterest. Just fun little things for them to do and keep themselves busy during the Thanksgiving week. So these are things that we do during Thanksgiving week. 
um and then of course there's activities and stuff like that i did these this um thankful pumpkin with i mean kind of spread out i forgot to spread it out for you guys with my oldest and then i still have to do it with my youngest well my middle child um and they, he loved it so i got this template from pinterest i'm finding it out and it's this cute little thankful pumpkin as you can see so the template is this and pinterest like you cut this in strips and then they have to do their little hand and then fill out one thing they're thankful for them. So the hand says, I am thankful for, and then you fill up each and every one of the little strips and then you add it to your pumpkin. So how cute is that? So, so cute. So I like to do things like that for them. So I'm still doing this with my middle child because he didn't get a chance to do it and I did it with my oldest already. And so I love finding cute things like this in Pinterest. Okay, another thing that we've been working on, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these already, is our thank you books. This is something, I got these, uh, like the blank thank you books for, um, from Target, Dollar Spot. And this is something new for this this year, and we have been loving doing this. So basically, they decorate the front of it. It says, my thank you book. And then they add things inside each day, what they're thankful for, and then they draw, you know, I kind of draw it out. So this is my eight-year-old, and this one is one of my favorites that he did so far. So so cute! I love it. Oh, actually, this one is my this one is my five-year-old. Thankful for food. This one is my eight-year-old, and I just love seeing their drawings and how cute they interpret what they're thankful for. This one says, "I'm thankful for animals." Look how cute. <laughs> So this is just a cute little keepsake too, and I think I want to give these to my in-laws to take with them. Uh, but yes, these are adorable, these are new, so this is something we're still going to be working on at Thanksgiving week. And then, so our Thanksgiving week pretty much looks like we have some books that we're reading. Um, we were learning about the Mayflower. Um, and then some activities and here and there. I'm still even printing more that I don't have to share with you right now. But um, I just love doing stuff like that. But on a Thanksgiving table, I forgot to say that I have gotten these from the Dollar Tree a while back. I think it was like a month and a half ago. And this is a foam craft, craft kit. So they're going to have a lot of fun putting this together. I love stuff like this. So cutesy. Just to keep them busy putting things together. I'm also going to do one that Candace from... Uh, homeschool on the hill sent me on she's one of my friends on my instagram group and she sent it to me on mail it's like a little cross i'll show you here but um yeah so we're working on some of those things on a thanksgiving day i also like to do a thanksgiving mat um placemat and that i'm still getting but i'm sure pinterest is full of it we did one last year that we enjoyed so much so yeah you guys that's what my thanksgiving looks like this week um, in my home and as far as food goes I will share with you my menu and so uh, me and my mother-in-law are going to cook together so it's gonna be so much fun our turkey is like very uh, hispanically I don't know how to say that um, seasoned so we do it like a week before we season it with uh, something called sofrito which is a blend of like onions and garlic and green peppers and um, what's the other thing sofrito and another herb called culantro and so we blend all those things in and that's like this puree that we use pretty much for a lot of our cooking um, so we already season our turkey with that we season it with lemon and um, and butter and lots of other herbs here and there <laughs> and so um, I'm looking forward to Thanksgiving I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys on Instagram so please follow me there and I want to hear about yours too if you want to comment down below and share with me what your Thanksgiving looks like I just wanted to come over here and do a quick video for you guys and just wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and I hope you have a great one with your family your loved ones and whoever you're with so thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe to stay connected, and I'll see you in the next one.